What up, people? Please give this video a like if you like the video. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the icon in the bottom right hand corner of this video. And then make sure that you turn your push notifications on so you can receive updates every time we post a video here on the Vaniverse Gaming channel. Okay, people, welcome to another episode of Conan Exile's Dungeon Guide. In today's guide, we are going to be covering the Frost Keep Dungeon, which is way up here in the north. Right here, the Temple of Frost. And we're going to show you how you actually unlock the journey step, which is, is basically to kill the main the main boss. And then also we're going to make some black ice weapons while we're up here as well. So a couple of things to note before we get started here is because we're going to be going to the Temple of Frost, you're going to need to have some food and drink that warms you up. And so there's a couple of things I want to show you before we get started. First thing is, I would suggest that you're level 50 to do this. Um, the reason why I suggest level 50 is because on your attributes, you can actually get to 40 points in strength, which will give you this ability called Brutal Strikes. Every heavy attack now inflicts 25% more damage. Since we use daggers a lot and two-handers, we're going to be using our heavy attacks a lot. So this is a big boost in damage. So that's a reason why I suggest 50. And then also, um, you can, it's just the amount of damage he takes. So like right now, I'm wearing Zamorian Thief Armor, which is, uh, has cold protection on it, and it's level 50. Technically, it really doesn't matter. I mean, you could, you, you could be wearing the, um, not Hykerian, where's the other one? Where is the other one? You could be wearing the, right here, Kombusion Shaman Helms as well. The armor doesn't matter as long as you really don't get hit. If you get hit, you're screwed. But the other things that you would unlock is this brewing at 37 so that we can make mead because that's easiest thing to make. That will give us drink that will warm us up. And then we also need the stove, which will give us some spice food to warm us up. Of course, we're going to need a uh, fluid press to get involved here. And then we're also going to need the grinder to be unlocked in order to get some spice. And so those are the couple things. So you can see on my inventory here, I have ancient daggers. I'm rolling with some mead, some extract. I got an ancient two-hander. I got my pick. I got some spice steak. And so kind of show you that in order to get spices to spice your steaks, a really easy way is by putting seed in your grinder. So if you have some seed and you put it in the grinder, it will actually turn the seed into, um, where is my seed? Seed. Yeah. So if you put seed in a grinder, it'll turn it to spice. Right there. And then if you come over here and you go to your stove, you'll see this requires spice steak or you can get spiced haunch. So basically you kill a rhino or an alligator or one of those turtle guys and get the meat, you throw in the spices, and you get yourself some spice steak. Now, right here is the fermentation barrel. You need to create this. Um, so if you go to your inventory, you should see it right here, fermentation barrel. Re it requires an ale keg. The ale keg is made, I believe it's your artisan bench here. Uh, yep, right there. So it takes some shaped wood. You make your fermentation barrel. And you can see right here, we can make mead or you can make highland wine. Uh, basically, the leavening agent and the berry pulp, that's all going to be gathered up north. So, you know, by this point, if you're level 50, you should be close to being up north here. Um, but this is where you would gather the stuff needed in order to make mead. We also require honey, which is a beehive. So if you go into your inventory right here, beehive, so under feats. You actually get beehives pretty early, 33. And these are very similar to fish traps. You just leave it kind of sit here and it will slowly but surely gain honey. Um, and you can have multiple beehives just like if you would have multiple fish traps that just kind of gain fish. So that's going to be how you get your mead and you get your food because we need to maintain our, our temperature. I'm wearing level 50 armor, but I'm only using the uh, ancient daggers. So with all that being said, let's head over and show you guys the Frost Temple and how to kill it. So 
you would normally have to run up through here. Your temperature will spike. Um, just keep in mind that as long as you have some mead and some spiced food on it, you should be able to maintain your temperature pretty good. There are spots that it will be frostbite and extremely cold, and so you will take damage. But just make sure you have a good amount of food on you, regular food, as well as some potions and whatnot. So let me just grab another stack of some regular food here, just so we're covered. Okay. All right. So I've already unlocked the map in my map room, and just for sake of time, I am not going to run all the way up here. So we are going to just port over here with our map room. So you can see this is the one we want and we're going to port over here. So you can do this probably earlier than level 50. I just think at level 50 you can deal more damage. Um, other than that, it's you could probably do it in your 40s, even your, you know, I'd say mid to low, low 40s. But in any event, as long as you're using daggers, you should be okay. And it's the same kind of fights that we did with the Witch Queen. Instead of having those types of stone giant looking things, we got ourselves some frost giants. So you can see right now that I'm cold. And you can see the fourth icon over. The bar is kind of dropping down to very cold. As long as I stay at very cold or higher, I'm okay. I won't take any damage. If this gets to extremely cold or it gets as far down as frostbite, you're going to take severe amounts of damage. But the armor I have on right now should give me some cold protection. So at this point, it shouldn't go below the whole very cold part. Uh, another thing that you want to look at here is there's a stone over here. This is an emote. Also, uh, on your journey here, there's actually a journey achievement to say get extremely drunk. So we'll show you this in the journey. But basically, if you keep drinking these meads, you're eventually going to get extremely junk. Um, you'll also unlock the, uh, where is it? Where is it? Maintain normal temperature in most extreme cold. So if you're in an extreme cold area and you're eating spicy food and you're drinking your mead, it's going to give you this journey achievement because you're basically maintaining your, um, your temperature. Also, if you hit level 50 for the journey, you're going to want to do this. This is actually level 40. You can get the Nordheimer armor, but we'll go into that here later. So let's come in. Let's click on this thing, and let's show you how this is. So basically, these guys are very simple. They do this big swing, and then you get back in. Watch for the stomp. This is when they're doing that little screen thing. They're very vulnerable. Then get out. They have really big swipes, but they usually won't hit you. And you can see having 40 points in strength with daggers is making this guy die pretty darn quick. Oh, yeah, he's dead now. Yeah. And so I do also have an ancient two-hander with me as well, just in case. Um, and then we can always loot them. They usually drop steel bars and whatnot, and then you can always hack them up. Get some thick thick hide for yourself. All right. So now we'll kill this guy here. And you can see I'm still maintaining very cold, which is good. Oh, boy. Big swing, big swing, big swing. Then he stops. Then you get in. Watch for the stomp. There we go. Two swipes. Get back in. Watch for that. Another stomp. Okay, let's let our stamina get back here a little bit. One, two, get in. Get out. One, two, three, get back in. And he's dead. Easy peasy. All right, so when you get past this section right here, it, it starts to change your, your very cold. So now I'm extremely cold. So right when you get here, you're going to drink some mead. You're going to warm up. And then you might as well eat some spicy food at the same time. So that should keep you doing pretty good, keep you at the very cold level. Um, you can't really run through these guys. You're going to have to kill each and every one of them, unfortunately. Uh, but not a big deal. Whoa, gosh. Get back in. 
back in. We definitely do not want to fight in this area because you can see I'm extremely cold again. So we want to kind of get out of the extremely cold area so we don't take damage. This guy's done. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing with this guy down here. We'll bring him out through the extremely cold area so that we don't die. Follow me, fella. Got a headache from all the alcohol I've been drinking. Alright, so I think we're right about here. Oh, don't hurt your buddy. Oh gosh. So because I'm not out of the extremely cold area, I'm going to keep drinking. Alright. It should go back up a little bit. And then we'll kill this guy some more. Easy peasy. I'll do it one swing, two swing, and then he's done. And he's dead. Okay. So now, you know, just eat up, heal up. So let's eat some food here. And then we're going to run through this area right here because this is where it's going to be extremely cold and you're going to get frostbite. we got to get through this area. Again, drinking your mead or your um, steak is going to help you out a lot here. And we should be good right about here. We're drunk. So we're a little drunk from all the mead we've been drinking. Whoa. It's okay. We got through the bad part. This guy is going to die real easy. We're just going to keep heading straight from here. There is some chests this way and some other frost giants that way. And then the forge to make black ice weapons is that way, and we'll show you that here in a second. Hopefully, my drunkenness will end soon. You are feeling tipsy. All right. So, we'll eat another piece of meat, get our health back up. Dizziness is gone. And then there's a patrol guy here you want to kill. Um, normally, I think he's dead already. Let's see. There's the boss. We might have already killed the patrol guy, to be honest with you. All right, so now you got a guy on the left and a guy on the right. Just do your thing. Okay. Aggroing two of them at the same time is never fun, but it'll work. Just takes a little longer to kill him this way. Oh boy. That's the only problem if you have light armor on. If you do get caught, you're in you're in some serious hurt. Okay, let's get past him this way. Alright. Be careful drinking when you're in the cold area. If you drink, it's going to cause you to freeze. So just be careful of that. If you drink it, make sure you eat something warm right after. Alright. Wait for our stamina to come back. That guy's going to be done. Okay, this guy's going to be next. One, two, three. Oops, don't get stepped on or you're in trouble. Alright. Whoop. One, two, three. Get in. And he's dead. Okay. 
So now we are clear through to the boss. So like I said, if you drink your water right here, and I drink water again, you're going to watch my temperature is going to start going down because water cools you off. So you instantaneously just drink some mead, and you'll be back to, to good again. All right. So now here's the main boss. Everyone else is dead. So same principle. He doesn't have anything different than the other bosses do. I mean, than the other giants do. You just do the same old ritual. One, two. He just has a lot more health. And that hurt. Whoa. Oof. Alright. We're gonna drink a potion. Just because. Alright, one, two, three. Get in. One, two, get in. Whoops. Something's not right. One, two, three, get in. And you can see he dies just like the other ones do. One, two, get in. He just takes a little longer. Whoa. I keep on getting hit because I'm silly. You can see he's already, what, a third of his health is gone. Yeah, show me how strong you are. Do your thing. One, two. Wait for our stamina to come back. He's about half dead now. One, two, three. Get in. Get out. Wait for my stamina to come back. Rinse and repeat. And again, I'm doing this with ancient daggers. Um, you can see my daggers are starting to break. If you want, you can actually use your two-hander as well. Whoa. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, no. That was bad. I ran out of stamina. Just drink another potion. Yeah, see, and he's almost dead. Whoa. Alright, yeah, he's only got a tiny bit left. Oh yeah, that one hurt. One, two, three. Yeah. And there you go, boom. Defeat hunger the frost. So now we got the achievement for that, and then right behind here, you click here. We learn new recipes. This is also another reason why you need, you need to be level 50, because you cannot learn these recipes unless you have your um, tool unlocked to learn them, which is the hardened steel tool. You need to have that unlocked, and then you can get whatever's in the back of his chest here, and now you're done. Now, so that's how you kill him and, un and beat or unlock the journey for killing hunger the frost or whatever his name is now let's show you how you get the uh the journey for the black ice weapons so basically um I'm trying to remember what we need here for black ice but you go to the right right here and you have to kill another boss he's actually the blacksmith so you come in here there's a couple other guys to kill and then we can get to where we need to go you might want to whoops you might want to pick up the steel bars that you get from some of these other guys because as you can see my ancient daggers is pretty broken so having the steel bars to repair make sure you bring them with you is a very good thing and then down there I was extremely cold and frostbite so I had to drink some more uh, food and drink all right So like I said, get some steel bars and hit repair. 
and it says you need shaped wood. So these usually drop shape wood and steel bars, but if not, just make sure to bring some steel and shape wood with you um, so that you can repair your, your weapons. I could have swore I saw some shaped wood. Maybe there's some in the chest here. If not, I'll just uh, make some quick, but when you guys come here, just make sure that you bring it with you. And don't be silly like me. So, admin panel, shaped wood. Alright. Alright, so now, repair. There we go. Okay, so again, just watch your health. If you're going to drink water for for your, um, just make sure that you then eat something that's going to warm you up so the cool down gets changed out by the warming up. So we're going to head over here. We're very cold at this section. We're extremely cold, and we're going to be freezing. So the issue is, is we're cooling down because of the um, drinking the water, and that's causing us frostbite. So once the water goes away, the warming up should then get us back to where we need to be. And then we can take out these guys. So you can see this area is protected by three guards. So you're going to have to do the same thing. Oh, apparently only the main guy is coming. Okay, so here's the next big guy you got to kill. Oh, crap. Got to be careful here. So this is just like the other boss. He does the same same things. One, two, three. He has about the same health too. But with the other two guys there, you just got to be really careful. And you also got to be careful you don't roll off the damn thing. So you can see he's just like Hunger of the Frost. He's got a pretty decent amount of health. It's going to take some time to chop him down, just like you did the main boss. Oof. Just be careful around this area, because this area is where you're going to get extremely cold. So we don't want to stay here very long. Come back here. I don't know why I can't hit him. Okay. Let her stamina re recoup. One, two. Get back in. Watch the stomp. Oh, God. Woo. Come back up here. We're still at very cold in this area. Okay. Now we're extremely cold. Oh boy. If you get knocked down, there's a good chance you're going to die. should be almost done here. One, two, three. Okay. Get out of the extremely cold section. And should be over. Right here. Can even use a two-hander if we want. One, two. And he's dead. So very similar to the other fight. Just weed him down. And then now it's time to kill these guys. And then we'll show you how you make your black ice weapon and get that journey requirement as well. So on this in this video, we showed you how you can get the maintain your warmth even in extremely cold. 
we showed you how to get extremely drunk by chugging down the ale, or in this case, the mead. Uh, we got the achievement for killing the boss, the hunger of the frost, and now we're going to get the achievement for making black ice. But first, we got to kill this guy here. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I hate having two of them together. All right. Oh boy. Let's bail out of here a second. Let our stamina come back. Oh boy. Oh boy. He's almost done. Sweet. Alright, last guy. Let's roll this way. Get back over here, near the forge where it's warm. And then we should be able to get to the forge and make it. So you can see I'm doing this at level 50. I'm using just ancient weapons, ancient daggers. And for the most part, once you learn their mechanics, pretty simple stuff. All right. So now, once you get all that done, you come up to the forge here and you click on it. So once you learn the recipes by killing the boss, which is the stone we clicked when we got behind him, now here are the different things that we can make. So you can see this requires a hardened steel pick and black ice. And then this requires a hardened steel sword and black ice. So you need the weapon with you, the hardened steel weapon with you, and then black ice. So black ice you can find all over the place. You can find it all over out in the main area here. So this is why we have uh, what we have here. And I think, I yeah, see we have a hardened steel pick on us. And so I think it's, is it weapon or is it tool? I don't remember what we have to make. So right here is all the black ice you're ever going to need. Look how much we're getting. Okay, we're actually over encumbered because we have so much. So let's drop a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of that. And so this is also another reason why being level 50 is a good way to do this so that you can have hardened steel unlocked. And so now what we can do is let's see if it gets it, if it gives it to us for this. I think it's a weapon. I think the journey achievement says a weapon, not um not a tool but let me check yeah it's a black ice weapon so make sure when you guys come here that you bring a either a hardened steel sword right here and you can make it so let's just admin panel one in we'll make sure to have a hardened steel sword on us And we'll throw the hardened steel sword in there with the black ice. And we can make either this broad sword or we can make this regular sword. Let's make the broad sword. That looks fun. And so now, right here, so I already made the black ice pick. and I didn't get my journey achievement. But now if I bring the hardened steel sword with me. And voila. And as soon as you equip it you're going to get the achievement to obtain a black ice weapon. So that's pretty much all there really is to this dungeon here. Um, just make sure that you have some decent weapons, some decent gear. Most important is to bring some mead and the spiced meat. And then also make sure you have a hardened steel sword on you so that you can create a black ice weapon to get that achievement. Uh, the other area that I will show you, I'm just going to actually switch into cloak mode right here just to finish this up. Um, is on this side there is another section and over here you will find several chests uh, right here you have one two three guys and then you have one chest here you have one chest down here and then you have one chest back here so that's really all that's in this room is the chests and then three different guys other than that there's not really much here worthwhile 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope this was helpful in preparing to go to the Frost Keep. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And stay tuned for my next dungeon guide as well as the rest of my journey guides. This is Vaniverse and Vaniverse Gaming Channel. Cheers and peace out.